is Erica and today I'm going to be listing off my seven books for Booktubeathon 2018. So if you guys don't know what Booktubeathon is, it's a really reading challenge on Booktube. There are seven challenges and you try to meet each one within the seven days you have. So this year Booktubeathon is July 30th through August 5th and I'm going to leave a few links down below to the challenges as well as to just information on Booktubeathon itself. This is my first time participating in Booktubeathon since it is my first time having a Booktube channel. I'm just like super excited for this when I I'm going to try to make this nice and short. I'm just going to share the seven books I'm going to try to attempt and read. We're going to try to get all seven, but I know for a fact I'm probably not going to read seven books within those days. But it's fun to try and it's fun to challenge yourself. So let's just get right into it. The first Booktubeathon challenge is use a coin flip to choose your first read. So I have my coin here. And my two reads for this I'm choosing between are A Daughter in Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor and the second book is An Ember in the Ashes by Sawat Tahir. Decided I would try and choose between these two because they are both pretty popular series so I thought it'd be fun to try to choose one of these that I would actually continue reading and probably eventually I'll read both but I guess we'll see. I'm gonna flip a coin and we're gonna decide between these two books. So Heads is going to be A Daughter of Smoke and Bone and Tails is going to be An Ember in the Ashes. But let's flip this coin. It looks like it is Heads. So my first book for book two with that is going to be Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. I'm very excited because I know Kat from Caddy Tastic has talked a lot about this book, so I'm finally going to read this and eventually I'll get to an ember in the ashes. The second book two with that challenge is read a book about something you want to do. So I am currently an actor and I want to keep being an actor and I found this little book by Richard Boleslavsky. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's just, it's called Acting. It's pretty short, and I knew that I wanted a short book because if I'm going to try and read seven books as well as A Daughter Smoking Mom, like, I need short books. So I got this one, and it's pretty old, but it's small, and I'm like, I'm an actor, we can do this. So this is my second book to bathon book. Now I can actually go for the next challenge, which is read a book with green on the cover. I decided for this one I'm going to be reading Defy. It's upside down. I'm going to be reading Defy by Sarah B. Larson. I have heard about this book on Sasha's channel, but it's pretty short, and I just thought it was pretty, and we're going to dive right into that. So this is my third book for my Booktubeathon challenge. The next challenge is kind of a silly one, but it's read a book with the same hat on. This is the hat I use for work. If I'm on the train and I already have this hat on, it'll be, you know, I won't have to stress and like hurry up and put another hat on if I'm on my way to work or whatever and it's always just conveniently here so this is the hat I'm going to be reading wearing the hat I'm going to be wearing not reading the book I'm going to be reading is Batman Nightwalker by Marie Lu looks like it'll be a pretty fast read obviously this is about Batman it's part of the DC icon series and I have Wonder Woman at Home by Lee Bardugo and then I also am excited to read Catwoman by Sarah J Mass. so this I'm going to be reading this book, I probably look like an idiot right now, I can't tell what it looks like. This hat with this book, it's gonna be great. <laughs> that is my fourth book for this reading challenge. The next challenge is read a book with a beautiful spine. Guys, I greatly struggled with this one. I just kind of grabbed a book because I was in a hurry and the library was closing and I was in a rush and I just kind of grabbed this one. You can't really see the spine very well, I don't It has like this nice sunset, some stars, and the cover is really pretty. It's called The Love That Split the World. I literally have no idea what this is about. As I said, I was walking through the young adult section, saw it, grabbed it, and I was like, this will do. I think it's a contemporary. I haven't really been in the mood for contemporary, so I guess we'll see how that goes. I don't really know. The next challenge is read and watch a book to movie adaptation. So for this, I really wanted to reread The Darkest Mind since the movie's gonna be coming out in August. I thought it would be perfect, you know. But like now the library didn't have any copies available and since I'm in kind of a hurry, I was just like, we'll just pick something. So on my Kindle, I decided I'm going to be reading The Notebook by Nicholas Spark. I've never read The Notebook and I've never seen the film. I know you guys are all like, what? But we're gonna give it a chance and so it's on my Kindle. That's the only book I have on my Kindle right now for that challenge. And lastly, the seventh challenge is to read seven books. <laughs> that is literally going to be so hard. But I wanted to challenge myself, so I picked out Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Grodin. This book I know I think is kind of a World War II book. My sister really loved it, a lot of people on booktube really loved it. I grabbed it and I was like, we're just going to give it a chance. That is the seventh book that I'm going to try to read on this reading challenge. Daughter Smoke and Bone, Act. 
acting. Defy, Batman, Nightwalker, Love That Split the World, and Wolf by Wolf. Do we have seven books? One, two, three, four, five, six. Guys, I'm missing Oh! <laughs> My Kindle, The Notebook. So these are all the books I'm going to be attempting to read during Booktubeathon. I'm very excited for this challenge. I hope you guys are all participating. If you are, leave your links to your videos down below so I can check them out and see what we're going to be reading, what our challenges are. I hope I can read at least like four of these. I forgot to put my hat on. This is not going to work. Alright guys, that is all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a nice little thumbs up. If you guys want to keep following me on this booktube journey, you can subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Erica A. Gobble. That is all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon with another video. Bye!